10.1.1, using the Earth's resources and sustainable development. So humans use the Earth's resources for loads of different reasons. You could probably think of loads, but we're going to try and characterise them into four different groups. First of all, food. Without the Earth's natural resources, we wouldn't have food. Secondly would be um, shelter. Without the natural resources, we wouldn't have shelter. Thirdly, we wouldn't have warmth. And four, we wouldn't have transport. So think about whatever examples you can think of, they'll come under one of those uh, titles. Food, shelter, warmth or transport. So without natural resources and without agriculture, we wouldn't have food. We wouldn't have the food that we needed. We wouldn't have the timber that we needed to build things. We wouldn't have the clothing we needed. And we definitely wouldn't have the fuels we needed for our transport. So those are things that we produce through natural resources alongside agriculture. So where do the resources come from? Well, the earth is a great source of natural resources. Uh, think about metals and metal ores that we get from the earth. And think about the soil in which plants grow. The earth is a great resource. Secondly, you've got the atmosphere. The atmosphere is a great resource. It's got nitrogen at 80% oxygen. Thirdly, we have the oceans. The oceans are full of natural resources that we can use, including the water, including the salt. So when we consider development and using natural resources, we've got to consider sustainable development. That's development that meets the needs of the current generation without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their needs. Make sure you know that definition of sustainable development. Development that meets the needs of the current generation without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their needs. That's it for 10.1.1. Make sure you know that before you move on.